So I feel like my job is to heal out loud and be so much myself that every woman who encounters Girl Just Heal feels that she has no other choice but to heal and grow and evolve into the best version of herself because that's exactly what she's surrounded by the moment she enters this space. Hey, homegirls, welcome back to the Girl Just Heal podcast. I'm Nimoya Bazin and Chad, listen. So how are you doing? How are you feeling? How are you healing? Drop me a comment in the comment section. Let me know how you are doing. I want to know how you are navigating your healing journey. How has life been for you? How has 2024 been for you? Drop me a comment. Let me know all the things y'all know. It's time to check in and just check in with your favorite homegirl. So I've been doing pretty well. Well, let me take that back. Well, okay. So all is well, but if you, um, you may can tell that I got a little bit going on with my sinus and my voice is just a little different because I have been under the weather. All has been well, but I've just been under the weather and I'm like, Pod day is coming and I got to get an episode together for the homegirls because I've really been down and out. But I feel I feel so much better than I've been feeling. Um, And I just thank the Lord for giving me the strength to get up and get active. OK, get up and go and record this podcast episode, all that. And I know it's going to be an amazing, amazing episode. And I am just looking forward to it. I can't wait. So. Let's go ahead and get into this episode. And we are going to start with reading a homegirl review. And let's shout out a homegirl. So this episode comes from Peterson underscore Tiff. And the title of it is God Came Through. She left a five star rating on the podcast. Thank you, homegirl. And she says, I just want to let you know this podcast saved my life tonight. Oh, my goodness. Y'all, she said, I just want to let you know, this podcast saved my life tonight. Thank you and all the supporter followers on Girl Just Heal Facebook page. Oh, my. Peterson underscore Tiff. Chad, listen, let, let me just say this. I'm really, I'm really at a loss for words with this review. Y'all, she said, I just want to let you know this podcast saved my life tonight. That is something that, oh, my goodness. Y'all, we don't know what people be going through. We don't know in day-to-day life what people really be out here dealing with. And I just had to tell somebody that I'm like, you can judge people based on what you did in life, based on what your mom and them did in life, what your cousin them did in life, but you will never know a hundred percent what people are dealing with in their own personal lives. And your conviction cannot be their conviction. You can't meaning you can't put your convictions on nobody else. You may have done some a certain way. You may have never, Navigated the situation a certain way, but you don't know what people are dealing with. And this homegirl left the review and said the podcast saved her life tonight. That night when she left that review, listen to me. Oh, my goodness. That warms my heart so much. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that review from the bottom of my heart, like all glory to God for even using me to do this assignment because I know God could have chose anybody else. He could have picked anybody else to do this, but God said, no, you are the one for the job. I want you. It don't matter how you feel about it. I want you. I choose you for this assignment. So listen, that was just, that review really just was a reminder that we have to be kind to people. We have to be graceful to people. We have to not be so judgmental and criticism of people and why they move the way they move and why they do the things that they do. And even though we may feel like they shouldn't be going back to a situation multiple times, we don't know what people are dealing with. We don't know when it's going to be the last straw for people. 
So we have to make sure that we are doing everything we need to do not to judge people and criticize people. And listen, if you can't say nothing nice about somebody, don't put your mouth on people. Don't put your mouth on people to talk about people business. Don't put your mouth on people to degrade people. Quit destroying people and tearing them down with your words. People don't understand. I remember growing up, it was a saying, and we're going to get to the prayer cards, y'all. I remember growing up, it was a saying when I was growing up that said, words don't hurt me. Words do hurt. Words do hurt. They really do hurt. Words will pierce inside of somebody's heart words will penetrate somebody's mind so deeply so we have to be mindful of the things we say to people because we don't know when we are going to say something out the way to people and then that's it for them that's the last straw for them we done drove somebody to the edge all because of our poor word choice we need to be mindful of these things oh my goodness and I just that topic is a topic that is so heavy. And even in my personal life, I have dealt with just people just destroying me with words, just tearing me down and making me feel so low with just the things that they say. Like sometimes you look at people and be like, how can you say these things to me? Like it's me. And sometimes people have no regard for how their words are going to make you feel. And so I just encourage you. I thank you so much, homegirl, for leaving that review because that review, it really like, listen, I, I really I don't, listen. I don't even, I ain't even just trying to go deep. I want to get to these prayer cards, but I really, really felt just when I read that review, I just felt this because we don't know what people be going through. And it be so hard out here. People be out here dealing with things. They deal with things silently. You can be going to work with somebody every day. You can go shopping with this person. You can sit and talk to this person on the phone every single day. But when that person hang up the phone, when that person is not in your sight no more, you don't know what they dealing with. You don't know what demons people are facing. You don't know what problems they have hidden from you sometimes we think because we hang it around people and we cool with people I know exactly what it is this person is going through I know exactly what it is ain't ain't nothing wrong with this person and we can say all of those things because sometimes people be in our face and they make it look good they make their trials and tribulations look good because they don't want some people are not just out here looking for pity and they not out here looking for you to feel sorry for them and so when they come around you wonder why you all why you always got a smile on your face why you always so happy why are you always acting like everything is all peaches and cream? You always acting like everything is good. You don't know what that person did before they got in your presence. And you don't know what that person did when they left your presence. You don't know how they are feeling. So we have to be kind to people. And like I said, if you don't got nothing nice to say, and this is a saying that I'm sure we all heard growing up. If you ain't got nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all. If you don't got nothing nice to say to people, shut your mouth. Don't say anything to people. Sometimes you may need to sit sit down and think about it for a minute. Sometimes we just we we react before we think, but we need to think before we react. We need to make sure that we formulating our words properly, even if you send it in a text message. And to me, a text message is even worse. OK, it's even worse. But you have to really think about what you are saying because you don't want to be the reason why somebody clock out of here or why somebody give up on life because of the harsh things that you say. Because you are insensitive with your words. You are insensitive to this person. If you care about a person, if you love a person, then you you will be very intentional about how you say things to people. It's about what you say and how, more so how you say it. And a lot of times we can be insensitive in our delivery. Sometimes it can be intentional. Sometimes, you know, it can be like, well, I really didn't know that I was insensitive and I apologize for that. But in this instance, in this episode, I'm talking about when we just attack people with our words and we have the posture of, well, I don't care what they think or how they feel. 
I'm just going to say what I want to say because that's me and I give tough love. And if you can't take the way I talk to you, then you need to be from around me. You don't need to be in commune with me. That's a bad attitude to have. You can't be going around here talking about because I talk like this. This is just the way I talk. If the way you talk is hurting people that are connected to you, people you say you love, people you say you care about, people you say you'll do anything for, if your words and the way you talk are hurting those people, why in the world aren't you willing to change that? Because somebody who care about a person, somebody who loves a person, if a person come to them and say, hey, you offended me with the way you talk to me, you offended me with your delivery. If you really care deeply about that person and you love that person, you're not going to just say, well, oh, well, what you going to apologize to that person. Because you don't know, maybe your conversation pushed that person to relapse. And, and I'm not just saying I'm not out here blaming you for somebody going back and relapsing and doing things that, you know, we know we're not supposed to be doing. I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is you can be the driving force sometimes to people going and slipping back into a world they used to be involved in. You can make people feel like that you can aid in those actions of people. By how you deal with people. That's why we have to be kind one to another. We have to show love to another. We have to be graceful with another. And more so, we got to watch our mouth. We have to watch our tongue. Life and death lies in the power of the what? The tongue. The words you speak. The things you say. It can really drive somebody to the edge and make them jump off of that cliff if we are not careful. If we are going around with this attitude of I'm going to say what I want to say because I'm grown and I can say what I want to say. Yes, indeed, you are grown. Indeed, baby, you can say whatever it is you want to say. But listen to your favorite homegirl and take the advice that I'm giving you. Please, please, please be cautious of how you are saying things to people and what you are saying to people. Because you never know. Like, people really be watching. And sometimes we don't think people be watching us. Um, because, Well, in these days, social media drives a lot of things. And so we feel like if ain't nobody interacting with our posts, we ain't getting no likes, we ain't really getting no views. We think nobody's watching. But I, I promise you, listen to me. I can be out at a store. It just happened to me the other day. And I ran into somebody and they were like, hey, I watch you every morning. Every morning I'm watching your your motivational posts and your podcast. This person never interacts with anything on no social media platform that I have. But they let me know they were watching. And I said all that to just say, you don't know who's watching you. You don't know whose life you are saving because child when homegirl left that review on the podcast and she said the girl just Hill podcast saved her life. You never know the effect you are having on people. That's why you have to be intentional about your word choice. Be intentional about the things you say. Be intentional about how you out here moving. Who listen, be intentional about the way you are out here moving. You can't be doing everything. You can't be hanging with everybody. You can't be on these different platforms just saying anything because it's trending and because it's popular. No, be an example. And I deal with this a lot. I tell a lot of the homegirls who come to me for advice, you have to be an example. A lot of times we say set an example. You got to be the example, meaning when people see you and they see you coming, they see whatever conversations you are a part of, they know what the, what you are delivering. They already know what you're dealing with. They already know what you're about. You have to be an example so that when people see you, and they attach you to something or they identify you with something. What are they attaching you to and identifying you with? That's that's listen. I want you to think about that. When people see you, when they see your name, when they come across your social media platforms, when they see you in the street, are they identifying you and attaching you uh, uh, to somebody who just 
is so mean and don't care what she say to people. She don't care how she address people. She just going to do what she want to do. Or do they say, man, this girl right here, she be saying some stuff. She be self-reflective. She say a lot of stuff that helped me through. I be having some hard days and I listen to this girl and she helped me through. So I just want to encourage you. And listen, I didn't. So normally I try to keep the structure of these episodes, y'all. But when God sits in the room, I allow him to. But I wouldn't dare get off of this episode without doing the most favorite part of the episode. Y'all already know, baby. We still go handle it. All right. So, baby, y'all already know what time it is. It is time for the prayer cause. Prayer cause. It is time for the prayer cause. Prayer cause. Hey. Eight hey, prayer cards, prayer cards. Eight, hey, eight, hey, eight, hey, eight. Hey. It is time for the prayer cards, y'all. Let's get down with these prayer cards. I'm super excited to be doing these prayer cards, and God has already spoken, and and the word already went forth. But we are gonna get some word, okay? We gonna we gonna get some Bible in us because, baby, we got to. We have to. And I, I normally love to start with the word of God, um, just like with one of these prayer cards. But, you know, I, I have accepted the fact that God, whatever God going to do in these episodes, he going to do in these episodes. And I'm a flow with how he moves. All right. So today's scripture comes from Second Timothy, chapter four, verse seven. It says, I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept my faith. Come on. Let's go to another version. It says, I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept my faith. Ooh, I love that. I love the books of Timothy, though. Like, I love them so much. All right. So this is 2 Timothy and chapter 4, verse 7. New Living Translation says, I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race and I have remained faithful. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race and I have remained faithful. Whew. Now, this is a word. So I want you to drop in the comments and let me know how you interpret this scripture. But listen to me. This is a word. I have fought the good fight. Mm. I have finished the race. And I have remained faithful. Listen, that's a word within itself. Just drop me a comment. Let me know how y'all feel about this scripture. I love the books of Timothy. Um, and I would even encourage you to go and just read the entire chapter. Second Timothy chapter four, start at verse one. It's a very good chapter. So, all right. So that is it for this episode, y'all. Let's drop in. Close our eyes, take a deep breath in and out. And we are going to close this episode out with the Girl Just Heal mantra. And the Girl Just Heal mantra is I accept myself for who I am. I free myself from all fear. And today, I choose to heal. I accept myself for who I am. I free myself from all fear. And today, I choose to heal. I accept myself for who I am. I free myself from all fear. And today, I choose to heal. So thank you so much for tuning in to this week's episode of the Girl Just Heal podcast. I'm Nimoya Bazin. And until we speak again, girl, just heal. All right, home girl, thank you for tuning in to the Girl Just Heal podcast. We want to make sure that we continue supporting you during your healing journey. So be sure to connect with us on all social media platforms at Girl Just Heal and also join our private Girl Just Heal Facebook community so that you can continue to heal, grow and evolve.